peace and prosperity, my children. This is me, Elric, your honorable host here at the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Today, I bring you a really cool unboxing of something new. I don't know how new it is, but it's really new because it's got two gigabytes. The other one's only at one gigabyte. This is the Radeon XFX HD 6870 two gigabyte DDR5 version from the dudes over at XFX. Let's check it out. All right, folks, so here it is. This is the XFX Radeon HD 6870. This is the two gigabyte version. Also features PCI Express 2.1. All of the new Gene 3 motherboards that are coming out for the Z68 Express chipset will all feature this new PCI Express 2.1. Should be faster. Most of the other motherboards will work with it. It's backwards compatible, but if you have the newer motherboards, it's supposed to add more stuff. We'll have to see. So here's the outside of the box. You can see it's got the cool logo right there. Now, a lot of people pronounce this XFX, but it's actually pronounced like XFX, like kind of like in a movie thing. I've said this before. You guys know FX or XFX. Pretty cool stuff. We'll flip it around, show you guys the side. Just basically, there's tons and tons of key features on this thing. I couldn't go all over these. I have to do a written review on there. It would take me like all day to watch it over. When we do the full review of this card, I'll make sure that we get all that stuff in there, but I'm just letting you guys see it. We'll flip it around the back. Now you see it says stereoscopic 3D gaming. Okay, these guys have moved into, into their 3D stuff. Is it the same as that you're getting from NVIDIA? It's not exactly the same. It does work in movies and stuff, it's kind of the same. But that said, you can just see all this good stuff. Ifinity, here's all the available outputs right here too. Pretty cool, shows that right there. We'll go ahead and just go ahead and pop the top here now, get into the unboxing. Cap is locked up here, so I'll have to go ahead and just peel this label back. Hmm. Let's see. Nope. These are all locked pretty tightly here. This will be one of those times when I should have had a knife. I should have, would have, could have had a knife. Oh, wait, guys. Ah. Oh, here, let's make it even more dramatic. Here, look. Yeah, there we go. That's cool for the unboxing, right? Mess with me, dog! There we go. Nice knife, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and pop the cap off. Inside's a box. Inside of the box. Everybody's famous for that, right? Everybody's famous for having a box inside of a box. At least it's not Jack in the Box, right? XFXForce.com is where you take care of all your warranty information. One thing to note about XFX, this is either a curse, you know, or it's a great thing depending on how you look at it. You have to register your card and log on and register their site in order to get any support which is kind of weird. Most people just go download the drivers. You want XFX drivers, you got to go log into their site, register everything, and make sure you're good to go with them. Here's the quick install guide. Bang that thing down over here. Here's the AMD graphics card. These are the drivers. Then we have the XFX hardware limited warranty. Now, one thing I just want to take note of, I talk about this a lot. A lot of you guys argue about this, but warranty is very, very important. A lot of these guys are partners with AMD and AMD just makes the cards and they put them out. Some people do make their own custom design. Those are different cards. So warranty is very important. XFX, I can tell you from personal experience and reading the comments online, XFX has a great warranty program. One thing to take note of. Here's the driver CD installation guide. Now this is really weird. You need a driver CD install guide. If you do not know how to install a driver off a CD, you should not be putting a video card in. I'm just saying. Now, you guys have seen some of the power supplies. Whoops, sorry about that. Here's their Pro Series power supplies. Their power supplies are actually really good. And we're just going to keep making this a nice unboxing and talk about lots of good junk. Their power supplies are made by Seasonic. Seasonic makes awesome power supplies. They also make the power supplies for XFX. We reviewed a few of those. You can see those over on our website. Then we've got the Do Not Disturb. I'm gaming. These are for parents, girlfriends, and other people who would be disturbing you while you would be playing your game and don't want to be messed with. Put that on the door then, and that's like basically telling them to. All right, going to keep going. Should be an accessory pack in here. Let me see if the accessories are underneath here. XFX doesn't believe in giving the cables for their cards. I don't know why this is. Uh, it doesn't look like there's really any here. I'm trying to go put this open. Yeah, there's nothing in here. They figure if you don't have a power supply, it's good enough to support the card. You shouldn't be buying the card. I asked them, and that is actually what I was told with by their old marketing director, Ryan, that uh, you should have the power cables. So that said, we'll move on. Here's the card. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. This card's actually pretty short. Why is that important? Well, a lot of people have very small cases and enclosures, especially people that make the HTCPs. They want a small card. This card feels really cool in my hand. I like the plastic outside. It's a little bit of a different design. Now, this card may not be made directly by AMD. It does look a little bit different than a reference card, so this may be their own custom design card. If it is, I'll find out from those guys and we'll go over it in my full review. Here's the rear of the card. It's got a nice little cooling thing here so air can be sucked through. Here's the side. We see the two six pin power connectors. I'll flip it over anyways, just so you guys can see it. XFX Radeon HD 6870, two gigabyte edition. Now, some of you are gonna ask, is the two gigabyte edition, is it going to be faster? Is it going to be this or that? Here's what the two gigabyte edition is going to get you. If you're running multi-monitors and you need lots of power, then you wanna buy the two gigabyte edition. If you're only running a single monitor up to like even 27 inches, the two gigabyte card is probably gonna be a little overkill. The one gigabyte card will do you just fine. So, show you guys the back of the card now. Nice PCB, very well made. I do like it, however, that when they put a cover on it, that just makes it more safe to me. I do like that. Here on top, we can see the crossfire finger. Then I'll go ahead and just show you guys the rear I.O. here. XFX, two DVI, HDMI, two main display ports. Always remember the display ports in HDMI provide your full sound. And if you're using these, you won't. And also something to take note, as soon as you install this card, the graphics driver and the audio driver will be installed and you may want to go in and change your audio driver back to your standard one. You might not have any sound. So all you got to do in case you go in there is just change this card from your default back to your standard, standard audio as your default and you'll be just fine. So here's the card. It's very nice. I'm just going to one time look in the box and see if there's any other accessories and shake it. And there's not. So basically this is it, folks. It's the card. All these accessories that you see right here. This has been the unboxing of the XFX Ready on HD 6872 gigabyte card. I'm Eric Ferris. See you guys back here on YouTube.